created Kaplan. What's up, YouTube? It is yours truly, Miria, and I am back with a video. Today's video, I am going to be talking about how I passed the NCLEX N60 questions and how your girl is a registered nurse. <laughs> yes, so if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. On this channel, I talk about how I previously, my journey previously of being a nursing student, up to now currently I am a registered nurse I do a little beauty and lifestyle and I like to do Dollar Tree hauls I know I've been missing in action but I am currently employed as a registered nurse I do work 312s and aside from the 312s I do have to do transition to practice which is a how can I say it training program for new nurses to try to retain nurses, build up confidence, tools and resources on how to become an effective, safe nurse. And like I'm in class from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. outside of my 312s a week. Sometimes, some days I work six days straight from my 312s to being in class. So yeah, I am pretty busy. So that's why there is a gap in the videos that I'm putting out. But I thank you all so much for just staying subscribed and rocking with me since I have been like in my age. So thank you all so much. So without further ado, I will stop all this rambling and get into the video on how I pass my NCLEX in 60 questions. Okay, you guys, I also have some notes just in case I forget something. So I'm gonna try to make this video really short. Actually, let me. One go. of our clinical professors sent us an email and was telling us about the free webinars that Saunders was offering, which I took advantage of that. And it was like two nights, and I just logged on to my computer. We did it like Zoom. So I participated in two of those, and while we were waiting if our names would be sent to the Board of Nursing, our clinical clinical professor also sent us another email telling us that the NCSBN was offering a five week um, review for, I think it was it was $14, not I think, I know it was $14. So I did the review and I did it for five weeks and I think I finished it the beginning of June, I purchased another week because another week would cost $20. They were like, you can get an additional week for $20. So I purchased another week and I finished my NCSBN review on June 10th. I took a lot of notes from that review. Um, and each day I would spend anywhere from four to six hours. And I say that because I was not working, I was unemployed. So I spent a lot of time on the NCSBN review. And I would say I did pretty much, I would say I did about 70%. I didn't complete the whole NCSBN review I did, I did complete a lot of their um, QBank questions, but I didn't complete the whole review. I took a lot of notes and I made like sticky notes and I would review it each day after I finished. And I would like take breaks. If I was on it for an hour, I would take like a five or 10 minute break and get back on it for another hour. I didn't do like six hours straight, but I took a lot of good notes and I reviewed it after each session that um, I did for that day. So I felt like that was helpful. Then after I did the NCSBN for six weeks, I did the live Kaplan review. And I did it the week of June, June 15th. It was three days and I believe it was six hours a day. The Kaplan review came with our program. It was, I guess, included in the tuition. And in the Kaplan review, um, they, t they teach you how to do the decision tree there's a lot of other students in the live review and she also had like two nurses that were also participant of the live review just in case one of the students asked questions and the instructor didn't see the question so just to monitor the discussion board and also write down like little acronyms and little helpful tips to help us prepare and study for the NCLEX so I felt that was very helpful because at the end of the Kaplan review, she would email us all the notes that we took 
during the review session. And I thought that was very beneficial. Kaplan has a lot of stuff to offer, so I took some notes because I knew it was too much to remember. But if you don't have Kaplan and you're not familiar with Kaplan, this is just like a little bit of what Kaplan has to offer. They have, um, you can have access to 2100 tests like Cuban questions. You have access to three CAD exams, one of which I had already taken in my transition when I was transitioning um, at the end of the program. So it was mimicking the NCLEX. You can get anywhere from 75 to 265 questions. This was before the pandemic. And so I think we took it at the beginning of the year or in December, I can't remember. But I remember I got all 265 questions. And if you got a red, that means that you're not ready. You definitely need to do a lot of remediation. If you got a yellow, it meant that you were borderline. And if you got a green, that means that you're likely to, to pass the NCLEX. I got all 265 questions. I got yellow in every area except one area. I'll try to insert a picture of my scores from that first CAT exam. And my overall grade, I got a green, period. I got all 265 questions, but I got a green. So I was very ecstatic. <laughs> I was so happy. I did not have to do any remediation and it helped my final grade a lot. Kaplan also has like the, the NCLEX channel, which is live on demand videos. They also have the decision tree. They have flashcards on drugs to help you like remediate and understand the different types of drugs and their families. Um, they also have like this diagnostic test, which we took, I believe we took in February. We took a diagnostic test and that was like 180 questions. And I still got an overall, my, my score at the end of that diagnostic test was a 63%. So that means if you think about, you know, where they liked, I guess, they say if you're ranging in the 60 to 65 percent range you're right where you need to be um as far as being ready and prepared to take the end clicks but i didn't stop there i i kept studying um so i just really never thought that i would say this but overall i would say kaplan contributes a lot a lot 90% of, I feel like Kathleen contributes 90% of me passing my NCLEX. So if you all, I know it's expensive, but if you all can get Kaplan or at least take the Kaplan review, I would highly recommend the Kaplan review. And they didn't pay me. Nobody's paying me. <laughs> I strongly feel, I feel very strongly about Kaplan. And now I see why the school I chose feel really strongly about Kaplan. I'm glad that I was fortunate enough to have access to everything that Kaplan had to offer. I did not take and utilize everything that Kaplan had to offer, but I would say I utilized about 80 to 85% of their test questions. I used probably all of their test questions, but like the cat, I did all three of their cats. I did their diagnostic tests. I did all of their NCLEX style type test. I didn't go over everything that they recommend because at this point, at the end of June, I was so exhausted <laughs> from Kaplan, but I was like so thankful after walking out of my NCLEX, I was so thankful. I was just like, Lord, if I didn't pass, I really felt strongly. I felt strongly that I had passed and I just could just credit Kaplan. I just was like, you know, I felt like I was prepared and I just, you know, I have to credit Kaplan. I never would have thought I said that because going into that nursing program and taking my first Kaplan exam and I hated Kaplan. So I'm just enough rambling. I'm just glad that I just did not let that deter me from taking a review and passing my NCLEX. I'm glad. I'm glad. So after I finished taking the Kaplan, I did the Mark K review. I listened to the last Mark K audio on July 3rd and I did some lab values after that. On July 4th, I was in the house, not celebrating or anything, in my house, in my pajamas, studying for this NCLEX because honey, that was priority. So I was in the house on July 5th, I went to church, um, 
July 6th. I reviewed a little bit and then July 7th, I just li literally relaxed because July 8th is when I took my NCLEX and that is when I passed my NCLEX. But I did not find out into July 9th. So yeah, I have a record of all that because it's been so long. Like here we are in October and I'm finally making this video. But like I mentioned, y'all, I was just like really, you know, overwhelmed by learning nursing and then taking these nursing courses at the hospital. I just been really busy. Okay, the information that I would say to you all to help y'all prepare for the NCLEX would be to find one or two resources that you can use in that you stick with because it's you know it kind of gets sticky when you're getting using resources from all over the place the reason why i use so many resources is for one it was a pandemic and i was waiting for my name to be sent to the board so while i was waiting i took advantage of the ncsbn which was 14 dollars, and then end up spending an extra week and it ended up totaling 34 dollars and then after that, I did the Kaplan, which was already included in my program. So that's why I did the Kaplan. When I did get a test date, I wanted to hear about Mark K because everybody was raving about Mark K. So I'm just like, well, it's 12 audios. I still have another week before my NCLEX. So why not just listen to these 12 audios and take some notes? And I'm glad I did. I would say take good notes, read your rationales, and be consistent with what resources you use. That's all I have. I thank you all so much for watching this video. I'm going to have to trim it up because I know it's a little long and I do apologize. But I wanted to let you all know how I passed the NCLEX in 60 questions and walked out of there. So that's how I want you all to be. I want you all to have that same amount of confidence. I want y'all to go in having that knowledge or having that, having those strategies on how to dissect and answer the questions and just being fearless and confident. So I know you can do it and I hope this video was helpful. And remember, love costs nothing, smiles are free, and a hug can save someone's life. So be encouraged and go past that in clicks, period.